What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Steven here from Food Chain Feeders. Thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. The giveaway video is coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. All right, so today I'm going to talk about how to make Rapashi Bug Burger. Uh, this is a great food to keep in rotation for your roaches, in addition to um, a good quality roach chow and your fruits and vegetables. So I had a lot of trouble making this in the beginning, but I eventually figured it out. So I'm going to share that with you. Let's go take a look at what you'll need to make this wonderful food. All right, guys, so this is what you'll need. Um, we'll start off here. So you're gonna need two containers, all right? So two containers. And you're also gonna need a spatula, preferably one that uh, has a nice sharp end there. You're also gonna need a fork. You're gonna need a measuring device. I specifically am using a one fourth cup measuring device. And of course, you're gonna need the Rapashi Bug Burger. Okay, so let's get to it. All right, so first step is grab one of your containers and fill it up with water. it up um, just so you have enough space at the top good amount of water fill it all the way next step is put your water into your microwave and heat up that water uh, you can put it in depending on how powerful your microwave is you know just make sure the water is pretty much boiling so three to five minutes that's what I do it uh, I'm gonna put five minutes start all right cool What's up, YouTube? All right, so as I was editing this video, the most important clip, which was the part where I show you how to make um, the Rapashi Bug Burger using the, the measurements and all that stuff, it decided not to show up on my phone. Um, I, recall, I record all my videos with my iPhone here, and for some reason, it's, it's not showing up. Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do is show you uh, visually here uh, how to make it using my formula it's real simple very easy okay so what it is it's one scoop of powder to three scoops of your boiling water so let's just say this is my scooper here so I'm gonna fill this up with powder and then one of these equals remember guys to use the same measuring device for your powder and your boiling water very very important important so, let's just say I wanted to do two scoops of this. I wanted to make a bigger amount. So I'm gonna do two cups of these for the powder. And then I'm gonna do six scoops of the boiling water. Let's say I wanted to do three scoops of powder. I'm gonna do nine scoops of water. You guys get the idea. You guys can keep going on from there. Very easy, very simple. Remember guys, one scoop of powder equals three scoops of the boiling water. So as long as you guys know that, that's pretty much the secret. That's my recipe, that's how I do it. And yeah, so let's just continue on. You, right now, the next clip after this, you guys are gonna see that I already had mixed it. All I used was the fork. Um, that's what you guys are about to see right now. And um, that's it. Once you guys have the water and the powder mix with the fork, you guys will see what I'm about to show you right now. Okay. And this is what it should look like after you're done mixing it. Okay. So it's still gonna be a little runny, but you have to let this sit for one hour to two hours. All right, be patient. So. The longer you let it sit, the longer it's gonna be more dry, it's not gonna be as uh, wet, all the water will evaporate. So, don't put it in the fridge, don't put it in the freezer yet. Leave it just at room temperature for an hour to two hours. Two hours would be the best thing to do. All right, that way you're not eyeballing stuff. So just leave it room temperature, two hours, just let it be, be patient. And then, yeah. 
Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for two hours and we'll be right back. All right guys, so it has been about two hours now. Let me show you guys the finished product. All right guys, so this is what the final product should look like. And this is when you're gonna use your little spatula here. Now, pretty much you can do anything you want with it now. Uh, you, If you only wanna use, let's say half of it, you can put the other half in the freezer or you can just uh, put it in the, in the refrigerator. That works as well. So what I like to do is just cut it in some small strips like this. And then I go and I feed it to my doobie roaches. Like I said, this is a good, um, this is some good food to keep on rotation. Uh, in addition to a good quality roach chow um, like ours and also your fruits and vegetables so your dubias will be very very happy and you will see a lot of growth or this is a good um, gut loading as well because it has hydration and it has a full complete diet in here so yeah guys all right guys so I hope that was helpful to you and let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below all right thank you guys for watching be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and i'll see you guys in my next one take care peace oh also uh we do have doobie roaches available small medium i do have a lot of small right now so bulk pricing is available on smalls and we also have our roach chows available available as well we always have that in stock all right guys take care peace